It seems that we always keep meeting in my car. <laughs> All the time now. <laughs> seems to be the favorite place to be. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, there's a reason why I'm in the car. Uh, it means I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you want to know where I'm going and what's going on, stick around. Uh, the Vocek experience starts right now, guys. check experience especially in my car <laughs> where idiots are always us especially me you know because it's fun to be an idiot and I love being an idiot that's never gonna change idiot power anyway um <laughs> yeah I don't know why I'm all weird today but I'm a little weird in general you know that's just how I roll but anyway um I know you guys are probably wondering like what is wrong with this guy and where is he going why is he in his car again and if you're wondering all those things I can tell you one thing I don't know what's wrong with me because I'm I'm an idiot I'm weird that's just how I roll but I can't tell you where I'm going <laughs> I'm actually going to my doctor's appointment, my endocrinologist doctor's appointment. The appointment that's going to tell me what all those tests I had to take that I talked about in the last video was for. All the six vials of blood they took out of me, the 24-hour pee test, the spit test I had to take where I had to suck on these little padded things and I had to give that to them. Never had to do that before, but you know. But whatever, you know, it is what it is. I guess they're gonna be telling me what's all going on with those tests, why they needed me to do all those tests, and we're basically gonna see what's going on uh, with this appointment, I think. Uh, and of course, I'm here to let you all know what's gonna happen with it, so. But until then, I still have to get there. <laughs> my appointment's at 3.30, it's 3.10. I need to get my butt moving because it's in Altoona and that's like a half hour drive. So yeah, I need to get there. So I will be back. All right guys, I just made it here to uh, Station Medical Center and all that good stuff. Um, just gotta remember exactly where the office is at for one, but I am running a little bit late. So hopefully, you know, they still see me and all that stuff. I mean, I'm always running late, but, uh, but anyways, uh, I'll let you know what all happens afterwards. So I gotta go find where I'm going. So I'll be back. Just thought I'd tell you real quick that I did make it in here in time. <laughs> now I'm just waiting to get called back. Like I said, I'll let you know what they say afterwards. So I shall return. Well guys, just got out of my doctor's appointment and uh, man, what a doctor's appointment that was. Uh, first of all, it didn't take him long to call me back after I registered and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, it did take him forever to come into the, the room after they called me back. For a while there, I thought actually they forgot about me. <laughs> but uh, but no, they didn't forget about me. Uh, but uh, however, I uh, did go over a few things and uh, made some changes to a few things. And, uh, and guess what? I got to do more tests. I don't know if I can keep doing these tests. More blood getting sucked out of me. But anyway, let me explain to you what's all going on. So as you know, I went and I did all these other blood tests and these other things um, earlier in the week, which I covered in my previous video and all that good stuff. 
and uh well some of those tests are still not completely completely back yet but uh but they were back enough to know that you know a few things have changed since the last time i was here at the endocrinologist and um one of the things that uh, they did notice was that uh, my A1C uh, has definitely increased and uh, all that stuff. And uh, so Dr. Harian, my endocrinologist, decided uh, that um, she's taken over my uh, diabetic uh, care from my family doctor, which, uh, okay. <laughs> If you want to, you know, take your shot at it, go right on ahead. Um, because um, she didn't really like the fact that, uh, you know, my A1C went up a little bit and, and everything and, and stuff. Uh, and that my family doctor doesn't bring me in enough to, to monitor my diabetes uh, as she feels that he should. So she just decided, hey, guess what? I'm now your doctor for your diabetes as well as your testosterone stuff. So, hey whatever you know and uh so so we went over all that a little bit and uh she you know wants to do some monitoring she wants to see how things are going she asked me um if i had ever been on ozempic and of course i was on ozempic before i was on ozempic a couple years ago actually and i actually liked it taken Ozempic because uh, not only did it help uh, bring my A1C down and it also helped me lose some weight and everything but uh, but it, it just helped all around all together and uh, but then uh, when I was at my previous job at one point uh, they decided to change their uh, benefits and everything for the employees saying it's a better thing and, and stuff and it turned out I couldn't get my Ozempic anymore the new insurance company was like yeah no we're not paying for that so, you know, I had to go off of a Zepic. I couldn't take it anymore because I was not paying over $700 a month just for, you know, to get a monthly pay. No, <laughs> absolutely not. So I haven't been on a Zepic for uh, over a year now, actually. So, um, so she was like, well, you know what? We're just going to do it anyway. Uh, so she gave me, um, here it is. Uh, I grab it. She gave me a sample box of Ozempic for me to start taking and everything, which I'll probably start doing that tomorrow. Um, and she told me to stop taking my glipicide medication. So basically it's just, you know, swapping out one medication for another, uh, which is great for me because I don't like taking pills and glipicide is a pill. So one less pill for me to take. Yeah, love that. So. I'm going to start doing a Zepic tomorrow. I'm not going to take it today. Um, but it, it, basically, uh, when you do a Zepic, it's just like my other diabetic pen for my Tejeo, except for this is only once a week. So I'll be doing that once a week, but I'll be keeping up on my Tejeo, um, you know, for the rest of, you know, every day, like I've been doing, you know. Uh, and then she also, I don't know if you can see this or not here. Hold on. There it is. <laughs> can you see that? I hope you can. She put this uh, this monitoring device on my arm. Uh, she wants me to keep it there for a while. Hold on. Got to readjust here so my fingers aren't <laughs> covering the camera. But she put this uh, the sensor on. It's it's almost kind of like those um, those diabetic sensors that you see uh, people wear, where they just take their phone and they they tap it with their phone and it tells you their blood sugar. It's something similar to that, except for I don't have to do that uh, because it's just a little bit different. Um, but they did say that every five minutes it takes my blood sugar, and I have to wear it for uh, I think she said like a month or something like that for like at least three to four weeks I have to wear it and all that good stuff so yay <laughs> um so got that sensor on me and uh when I go back it's gonna tell them pretty much you know what my blood sugars have been and everything you know so that you know I can't lie and say oh yeah my blood sugars are great yay when they're really not you know so it's it's a way for them to make sure that uh you know, it, my blood sugar and stuff, you know, is where she wants it to be. So, so I guess that's good. <laughs> you know, that just means uh, I wouldn't have to prick myself in the finger all the time. So that's good too. 
less needles. And surprisingly enough, I thought it was going to hurt whenever they put that thing on, but it really didn't, you know. But it did kind of remind me, kind of like almost of a staple gun, when they just put that sucker on me. And then they put this, uh, this other thing on there to secure it. So I just got to watch whenever I, uh, you know, take my shirt off and, and stuff like that, you know, to make sure I don't accidentally pull it out. Uh, and, uh, and she also told me that it's, it's safe for me to, you know, to keep on when I shower and different stuff. So that's good too, I guess. So yay. So I got to wear that for, for a while, for at least a month, I think it is. I think that's what she said, a month. And, uh, and then of course she wants me to do uh, more blood work, more lab work, yay. <laughs> and so I'll probably do that maybe this weekend coming up cause I'm off all this weekend coming up. And you know, because I work third shift, you know, it's just easier to do it when I don't have to go home and go to bed, especially for work the next day. So, so yeah. So they're going to have to suck more blood out of me. And, uh, and the one test that I did previously, the, uh, the spit test where I had to take these, I don't know, these weird looking stick thingies. I had to put them in my mouth and suck on them for a couple minutes and then put them in the vial and, and stuff. Some kind of saliva test. Apparently, um, she ordered that test, uh, way back whenever, uh, before I started at uh, my current job at Family Services. And, uh, and of course, then I wasn't working third shift. Uh, but now that, I, you know, where I work now, I work third shift all the time. And apparently this test cannot be taken at all when you work third shift because you have to do it right before you go to bed or something. And apparently you can't do it, you know, when you go to sleep during the day. I don't know. It's such a weird thing that she was explaining. I don't really don't know how to explain it because it's all medical gobbledygook to me, you know, for the most part. So basically that test was practically null and void and I shouldn't have took that test. So anyway, they're going to have me do a similar test uh, where I don't have to suck on it, you know, anything like that. That actually kind of sounds weird when you put it that way, but I don't have to take that kind of a particular test. It's something similar, but I don't have to, you know, take a spit test. Basically, this other test that that uh, she wants me to do is uh, I take a pill at nighttime, and then I go immediately the next morning and get some kind of blood test done with that, and that will give the same results or something. I don't know. It's weird. Trust me. It's really weird. So basically, uh, that's all that's going on. Um, she did say that my bone density is good because uh, that could be an issue with, uh, you know, uh, people like me with low testosterone and stuff, you know, bone mass can uh, slowly erode away. But apparently my bone mass is still particularly good so that's good and uh and also because she's starting me on ozempic she wants me to schedule an appointment for an eye exam uh which uh which was fine because um i was supposed to go back last month anyway uh for a six month eye exam but i didn't get a chance to go because we had all those issues with the medical cards my insurance and all that stuff i just haven't gotten a chance yet to, to call and schedule an appointment so i'm gonna have to do that anyhow because she wants a, an updated uh, eye exam before uh, next month. So, so yay. Um, and uh, it's just going to be a lot of stuff going on. You know, just a lot of stuff, you know, with the labs and sucking blood out of me and starting a Zepic again. And I, I just hope my insurance through Family Services, I hope they cover Ozempic so I can stay on Ozempic. Because like I said, I was on it before and I loved it. I lost a lot of weight. My A1C got a heck of a lot better and, and all that stuff. And another thing that she wants me to do is she wants me at some point soon to get another uh, sleep study uh, done. You know, where they plug you in all these wires and put this big old mask on you and stuff and do a sleep study and all that stuff because she's saying that that could be one of the the core reasons for me to have high blood pressure and all that stuff too so she wants to get that done but she didn't give me a time or when she wants that done but I'm assuming soon 
Uh, so, yeah, it's just, you know, it's one of those appointments where you get all this information and you gotta try to remember it all. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, that was basically the appointment. Uh, it was basically, you know, talking to her and, you know, getting put back on a Zempic, getting this fancy dancy sensor put on my arm, uh, ordered to take more tests. <laughs> Yay! Gotta love tests. Gotta love them. No, you know, no, not really, but you know. Uh, so I'll keep you all updated on all that stuff, you know, as we go along. Cause I know there are a lot of you out there that are concerned about my health and making sure that I'm okay and, and all that stuff. And which is fine, you know, that's cool. You know, I love that you guys care about me and all that stuff. You want to see me keep being an idiot online. So, hey. <laughs> So we gotta keep, you know, going with that, so. But, uh, but anyhow, that's pretty much about it. You know, it was basically, you know, all that stuff and, uh, and then some, a little bit, kind of. Uh, but like I said, I'll keep you all updated, you know, when I come back and get the, these test results back and all that stuff. And hopefully everything comes out good with me being on Ozempic again. As a matter of fact, I can't wait to, uh, really get back on it. Like I said, I'm probably going to start that tomorrow, particularly since I took Glipicide today and uh, I was told not to take that anymore. So, hey, I'm not going to take that anymore. <laughs> One less pill for me. But, uh, but anyhow, that's going to about do for this video. Um, it's going on 530. I got to get my butt back home so I can eat dinner and get ready and everything because I got to go to work later on tonight. Even though tonight's technically my day off, but, uh, but one of my coworkers is out, you know, getting something done. So I, uh, I volunteered to pick up a shift and stuff. So, hey, you know, nothing wrong with that. A little overtime. Love overtime. But, uh, so anyway, got to take care of all that. And of course, as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to know more about what's all going on, all that stuff, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified of future videos whenever I post them. Because I really don't have a specific posting schedule. I just post videos whenever I feel like it, you know. And, uh, and of course, if you want to support this dumb little channel of mine, hit that join button. Come remember the Idiot Squad, because we'd love to have you. And, of course, if you also want to support the channel by donating to my cash app, scan that little QR code that's going to pop up at some point down here. And you can donate that way if you'd like. Don't have to. You know, that's all up to you. And, of course, you can follow me on all the major social medias. All those links are all down below. Check out the merch store if you have not done that yet. That link is also down below. And also, I finally got the uh, All That Happy Good Stuff shirt done. It's out. You can go see it on the merch store. And you can purchase it if you'd like. So, you can go check that out if you'd like. Like I said, all those links are all down below. And, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> time for me to go home get something to eat and uh we'll start getting ready for work later so yay and uh with all that being said i hope you're all having a good day good night good week whatever the case is when you're watching this video because you know i never know when you really watch it you know and uh and i hope that you know just all in all your health is good and stuff i hope you're taking care of all yourselves all that stuff and uh and go to the doctor when you have to go to the doctor and give blood when you have to give blood. Because the vampires love that. <laughs> but anyhow, like I said, I'm going home and get something to eat. So, um, I will, guess I'll see y'all in the next video. And of course, until then, guess what? Hey, bye for now. <laughs>